Hi, I'm Jeremy Paul, broker at Remax Escarpment and the Golfy Realty Inc. brokerage. I'm so excited and happy that you decided to take a few minutes out of your busy schedule so you can learn more about multi-residential investment properties and some of the challenges that come along with it. Over the years now with my experience interacting with clients, I found that troubles come up when clients aren't fully aware of all the responsibilities and expectations that are placed on them. And that's why I wanted to create this PDF video file so we could go over some of these challenges that people face. Now, even on the first section here, we have to look at landlord and tenant board dispute process, residential tenancy act you have to be aware of, human rights codes, Ontario fire code, and accessibility for Ontarians within the disability act. So there's a lot of responsibilities as a landlord uh, and as a business owner now. So there's a lot of things I want to go through in this process with you. Once you become a landlord, of course, you'll be responsible for finding tenants, dealing with problem tenants, which depending on whether it's, you know, two or three people in a smaller multi-residential property that's manageable, of course. But when you get into the five plus units, commercial units, that's when it, things are really going to start absorbing your time much more than people think. Uh, so we'll get to the part with the property manager, of course, but uh, it's not just as easy as passing the buck to them always. So you really have to be hands on, especially if it's your first venture into uh, a larger property for an investment purposes. Financing, all properties with five plus units are considered commercial. Properties require at least 15% down payment and CMHC requires a net worth of 25% of the loan. Uh, again, talk to a mortgage professional about this. I have some of the, you know, basic primary information to get you started, but they're going to be the go-to sources to really make sure you're on the right track and, and no mistakes happen and no surprises along the way. This is really important when I help clients uh, and it's good for you to think about if you haven't already. There typically is two streams for client investment philosophies. One is cash flow, more longer term, interest in generating consistent income from all those different sources listed there. Uh, might be okay with some uh, losses for tax purposes, but for the most part, you want minimum risk and uh, you're in it for the long term versus when you go over to the capital gains, buy low, sell high, trying to mitigate tax, of course, everyone is always, but you're looking for selling for big profits. And so in some cases, if it's short term and it's a great flip opportunity and you can seize it right away, then great. But a lot of times too, yeah, you have to, you know, and you can be more risk tolerant, but you want to be smart and responsible. So if the market does dip, after you've done renovations and worked it out, you have to be sure that you've worked out the numbers for your clients, for the rent and your expenses so that you can carry through the low periods having re reasonable or at least decent cash flow coming in. And then as the market builds up again or you get higher client turnover and you can re-renovate some of these units, then you can think about cashing out and hitting your investment target goal because that's really important to have a set profit mind uh, as an investor. What, what is your exit strategy? Meeting the professionals, super important. Uh, it's You can't just rely on one or two people, uh, especially if you're getting into bigger investments. And I find a lot of clients that are working on smaller projects, smaller, it's still a lot of money, but smaller in comparison to some of the larger high rise projects. Uh, everyone wants to build a portfolio larger over time. So whether this is applicable to you right away or you need some more years and build up your portfolio, that's fine. This is just a great start for you to be able to see the process start to finish kind of what's expected of the top investors and how they go about their business. So these are some of the people that you're going to want to deal with along the way. It's important for you to know because you need to have expectations of people um, like realtors or brokers and brokerages and everything in life. You often get what you pay for or you have to be with someone who's got a lot of experience and knowledge and has proven track record of experience. 
So that applies with everything, including property managers. Make sure you have someone with a lot of experience that you know and trust and get recommendations. They have a big role for you potentially in this process. And the same thing with a property lawyer. Not all lawyers know their information and put in the same amount of effort. You want somebody that's kind of in it, in their prime, ready to go, excited to help people and, and does this with multiple investor clients on big deals on a regular basis. And if you have to spend more money on them, it's, to, in my opinion, it, it's always worth it. Accounting bookkeeper, again, obviously it speaks for itself with how critical that is with financing. Um, with smaller properties, you may be able to manage the, the budget yourself and have your financial charts and graphs and computer calculations and internet programs out there. There's lots of ways to do things yourself, but once you start getting into some bigger money, it, it's probably great to have an accountant there looking over things. Uh, and maintenance personnel, you're going to want to make sure someone's looking at the property, obviously, before you buy it, the quality of the workmanship. Things may look good on the surface, but as we all know, uh, only an expert who does it daily can tell if there's been shortcuts or the kind of materials that they use. So it's really important to lean on them. Again, offer money to go in for a few hours, do a great job, give you a very detailed report. It's worth it in the long run for everybody to bring in specialists. And then again, an appraiser too, um, that's where I'm there to help you with valuations. But then if you are going to get a loan or you have a second backer or just another opinion, if it's a big project and it's, you know, millions of dollars, it's always good to have a second opinion. Um, I don't take anything personal, more eyes, the better. It's all about protecting you guys in the end. And what matters most is your investment. It's, you know, your lifelong earnings and savings for yourself and your family. And I truly respect that, which is why I put so much time into taking these courses, becoming a broker, continuing education classes, and then working really hard on putting these presentations together. Because in the end of the day, I, I take my obligations and duties and responsibilities really serious. And I truly want to be exceptional for my clients at the end of the day. So uh, hopefully you appreciate this information and you find it valuable along the way for you. Engineering consultants, uh, the timing, I don't know when you're gonna watch this video, but recently another condo just fell apart uh, in Florida, an awful situation. A few years earlier in 2018, they did have a structural engineer come in and give an assessment. Lots of red flags that were never addressed. That's the last thing you ever want to get in is having someone under your responsibility getting hurt. Nobody ever wants that, no matter what the situation is. So it's very important that you spend the money to either look at an environmental engineer or a structural engineer or even a mechanical engineer to make sure you have everything covered at the time of purchase. A rent consultant as well, uh, depending again on the size of the property, if it's a sky rise with many, many units, you're going to want to have somebody come in and confirm all of the rents, expectations, that they're all lawful and legal. And your mortgage professional too is going to help you along the way getting things started. And they're going to want to see all these loans and, and these tenant lease agreements and confirming everything's in place at the time. So it, it's quite a big process if you haven't gone through it before. Um, but again, it's really worth it to go through all the steps and not skip anything along the way. You have to do your due diligence and it starts right now with before the purchase, watching videos like this. And please, please call me anytime with your questions. Uh, these are some of the other things I'll be doing for you along the way. Uh, I do wanna highlight, I am a certified negotiation expert as well. Took additional courses at that. Um, so I have experience working with other realtors and, you know, some people are pretty abrupt or conflicting in their tactics, but that often doesn't work. You have to be very flexible and understand that there's two sides to the equation. But with my focus pri priority, always with number one interest with my clients, but, and I know how to work it. So I get the best deals, whether it's at the time of negotiation and offer or after we do an inspection and if issues arise, then you know we go back to the table and we throw in and have the sellers either address the problems before we take possession or we get more money off of the property and then we fix it ourselves and that way we know the quality of the job that's getting done for us. So if you do want to reach out to me anytime, of course, you probably have a lot of my information, but here it is again. There's my phone number and email address with the Golfy team. Call, text. If I don't 
answer right away. Just leave me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's been 10 minutes and you guys are super busy, but I really appreciate it. And please look out for more videos. This is just the first in a, a series that I'm going to be doing for uh, my investor clients. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Take care.